Hey guys, now before I get into the video, uh, I just want to say that I fucked up twice. So first, originally what happened with this game was a while back, I, okay let me, fuck this is going to be a moment, okay so a while back I wanted to play the game again, Everlasting Summer, and uh, I played it and, well not played it, I played part of it, like a five minutes of it. And I was recording, and um, I realized my mic wasn't turned on as I was reading, so that screwed up the recording, and I just stopped playing the game at that time, and I was a little upset at myself. I was like, ah, I'm, I'm a dumbass for not um, playing the game, or not having, not having my mic on, so I just stopped playing the game for a little bit. I don't know why, but that made me stop playing the game for a little bit and stop recording, and then... I messed up, and then I went. To, then I went to go play the game. I messed up. When I went to play the game, I messed up again. Cause, well, no, actually, I didn't mess up. OBS messed up. What happened was, I recorded the game. I recorded gameplay, and as I recorded gameplay, um, I I saved the game. I saved the game. I did about twenty minutes worth. I saved it, and then I pressed uh, stop recording on OBS and then OBS just said fuck you and it shut down without saving my recording I, I looked everywhere for the recording and I couldn't find it in my computer so there's that also ironically I made a video or a quick summary of what happened throughout what happened already about this, just like this one with the black screen and me explaining everything, and I still need to leave that, so there's that. So, what I like to say is this. Also, I want to explain kind of what happened during the last episode that didn't get poured out. So, I forgot what happened, the, the last episode that was shown, I for, really forgot what happened, but what I remember from the last video, or from the last thing I tried doing was, um, God, I forgot their names. But the red-headed chick that I hate... No, 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 we'll start from the beginning. So, we woke up in the cabin after a night, and I guess we were getting away from something, and we went to go talk to the nurse for some reason. No, we ended up talking to the nurse. And the nurse said that I want you to help me... Uh, that tonight I want you to help me... um Or uh, help unload some medical supplies for the the infirmary tonight, and I agreed to do so because, you know, I was being all chivalrous and shit, and, um, also, what's her name, Lena, the chick with the purple hair, and I say she has green eyes, the, the quiet one who reads books, that girl, she, she was essentially kind of forced, not forced, but like, just, you know, shy girl, doesn't want to say no to somebody, the, the nurse said, uh, ask her to help, and she knows she was going to say no, and I don't know why she asked me. I guess she thought I wasn't going to say no either. So it worked, whatever. But there's that. So as we're going... Oh, yeah, also there's like a dance for the camp, I guess, for that. Also, as we were going to um, the main square, I believe, um, we saw... I saw the uh, red-headed woman. I forgot her name, too. The girl that I didn't like. Um, she was playing guitar. It was like the main theme of the... Everlasting Summer, and I thought, I was like, okay, well, anyways, it was, she was playing this guitar, like, at a stage little thing, and she's talking about how she doesn't want to go to the dance, and, uh, oh, she was asking how I like the, her guitar music, and I was like, oh, it's okay, I like it, yeah, blah, 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 you know, shit like that, and she seemed really distraught that I was leaving, and that I wasn't continuing to play with her, or watch her play. And she asked me if she was if she wanted me to ditch the dance with her, I guess something like that. And I said, No, I'm busy, I'm helping uh the girls out or uh, Lena out with the medical supplies and everything like that. So there's that. So I n I haven't recorded in a while and I really have nothing to do today because I'm quarantined because I ha I have the whooping cough still and being treated for that. So I, uh, you're just gonna have to get through with my shitty voice, and I, I really want to record this, um, next episode, my, my voice will be better, I promise you, and, yeah, so, it's really it, 
Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So let's just get on with this fucking episode today. Let's get into this. So, when we left off, you guys didn't see, I was talking to Olga Dimitri, and she was talking about something, I don't know what it was, and I don't know, I screwed up. I really screwed up. Okay, let's just try to get into this. <clears throat> Olga Dimitri, oh yeah, we just call her Olga, we call her Olga D. Olga D was standing at the entrance and guarding it like a hawk. Well, Simeon, were you working hard today? Hard enough. Well done. Truly well done. And the hardest it is yet to come. I just bet. Fine, take a seat next to the girls. She pointed at the table next to the pillar. Uh, Slavia, Yulania, and Lena were almost were already sitting there. Not bad company. At least not the worst. I got my meal and went up to them. So, uh, do you mind if I sit here? I caught myself sounding a bit clueless. There were no other free places anyways. No, of course not. Please do. Lena remained silent. Yeah, this is the girl with that. We're going to help uh, unload medical supplies with her today. Uh, today the meal consisted of a plate of borscht. I suspect that there was some meat lurking in it, but I had no evidence. Some poultry. Chances are... Chicanus domesticus. I don't... I'm, I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a scientific joke name thing. You, you know what I mean? It was fried potatoes and traditional glass of compote. I found myself liking the local, local food more and more as there's police as there's police sirens in the fucking background. I guess I came to the conclusion that I have no other choice, which means that there is no use in complaining. And God, there's something to eat. Coming to the ball tonight. Yeah, the ball is what they're talking about for a little, for a while now. Uh, I don't know. You'll come. He's got nowhere to go. Lulania said happily. You will come for sure. Of course, I can't miss the opportunity to watch me make a fool of yourself. She got it right. She got it right, so I decided not to reply. And what about you? I asked Lena. Um, we we know we're helping her. Yeah. Wait. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yes. She replied briefly. See, you should go to two, then. Oh, I think it's like after the dance or a little bit before the dance that she wanted me to go. I don't know. I'm confused, I guess. Let me get to wear your tailcoat. Apparently, Yolani was so pleased with her joke she laughed out loud. But I really had nothing to wear. My wardrobe was just a pioneer uniform and my winter clothes. What would be inappropriate in the evening? And what will you be dressed in, entertainer? Secret. Uh, we will be. Will it be a little dress like the kindergartner's main matinee? Lunya turned red. Looks like I managed to offend her. No, I will a biohazard suit just so I can catch the infection from you. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I wonder what kind of infection you be. You're afraid of catching from me. Enough, you guys. Don't quarrel. Idiocy, of course. Looks like Lanya was highly pleased with her as she thought brilliant answers again, and the volume is really low. 
should be able to hear the background music at least. Okay, or background noise, ambience. Um. Okay. Okay, I'm just making sure the recording's fine and everything. Oh fuck, I messed up. Um. And I look highly pleased though. She thought barely answer again. Okay. Two completed that game. What are you implying? Oh, nothing at all. I looked away slowly. Do you mean that she went red again? I don't mean anything. Guys, given that little who interfered, it probably was, it was time to stop. You're asking for it. You're going to get it. What, finally wise up? She just throw some shit at me. Yeah. Instead of replying, Yolani grabbed her plate filled with borscht and tipped it over my head. This game met an unexpected finale. Oh, you little... Oh my. Now that's loud as fuck now. Okay. Okay, so... I'm gonna chase her again. She jumped and tried to run away. What's with this freaking... This... <laughs> But this time she won't get away. I grab her hand. Um, now what? I can't just smash her head against the table. This pantomime lasts a few seconds. Sally Lani has skillfully grabbed a glass full of cup hot splash in my face. That's why she managed to get free of my grip. She dashed off towards the counter and I chased her. This resulted in several flip tables, a pile of smashed tableware, five pioneers crippled by various injuries, and a full exhaustion of both parties. A draw, sort of. A belligerent draw. Too much with too much belligerence. Belligerence, my bad, not belligerent. Uh, we stood before each other and breathed heavily. Tell me you won't have this way. Tell me you won't behave this way again. And you? Ogadi snuck up on us from behind. When you think about it, such a riot couldn't go unnoticed. Well, are you satisfied with yourself now? Her voice appeared to be calm but I was sure she was about to explode. And who's gonna clean up all this mess? Exactly what happened? Who oh, I'm asking, who? Him, replied Alani with complete confidence. Her, I uh, objected less confidently. Both. <laughs> I can't believe it brought a conclusive end to this ongoing argument. Generally, I wasn't sure that my share of the blame was more than hers. The Willania didn't have a drop of gold on her face. Beat it. Ugh, goddamn. I'm not cleaning. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> oh, that took me off guard. Okay. This is his fault. He started it first. No, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. I'm not going to sort out, uh, I'm going to not, I'm not going to sort out all that nonsense. Semyon, Semyon, go grab a mop, a bucket, some cloths, you know, that kind of stuff in the closet, and as for you, she looked at Alanya with such a burning gaze, I felt sorry for the girl. You. Started to pick up the broken tableware immediately. Olga D took a deep breath and continued. You're nothing but trouble. How many times have I told you? I decided to skip the lecture and went to the closet that appeared to be next to the exit. Suddenly a perfect idea flashed in my head. Why don't I just run away? Sure, what D has caught us already, but I'm not the one to blame. Of course, I'm not that true pioneer she keeps talking about, but a comparison to Alanya. Anyway, she's the principal culprit. It's not like I have nothing to bear to do anything cleaning up the mess here. I have to seek answers. The truth is out there. Somehow flashed through my mind. No, clean up the fucking mess. Don't be a dick. Nah, running away is hardly a good idea. For starters, Olga Dimitri... I'm just, I always call it, ah, I always fuck up and try to say her name. Olga D has called me already, and dashing off would only aggravate my punishment. As well as that, I intend part... I was indeed partly guilty. Yeah, it's, dude, don't be a bitch. Don't be a fucking child. Just, just help him out. Of course it was all her fault. No, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but if I had re reacted like that, it'd probably we'd avoid this thrashing. Exactly. If we grow up and act like adults, then shit won't happen. Probably. No. You're just stopping a dick. You're using her as a scapegoat. Yeah. Excuse me. 
my voice is a little hoarse, as you can tell. I opened the cabinet and took out a broom, a mop, and a dustpan. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Okay, nine minutes. It is 3.30 now, so i got to keep an eye on the time. Ogdi wasn't anywhere near Olanya by the time I re returned. She's gone? Can't you see for yourself? Ulani looked upset. All her youthful spirit vanished out of without a trace. CCP. Okay, hang on a sec. I'll go wash myself a bit first. I shot her an angry gla glance and headed towards the next exit. I washed the scraps of lunch off myself and returned to the canteen. Well, no escape from it. We had to clean up. It's all because of you. Just a single gaze from her giving the creeps. Just don't even fucking bother with her. Of course it is. It's me who's guilty of everything. It's me who's a local ha natural hazard. Oh, shut up. So, it's kind of strange that she's not trying to avoid the cl this cleanup duty. Lulani had a solid opportunity to run away and leave me alone, but somehow she did the exact opposite. D diligently gathering bro blo broken plates, fragments, mopping the floor, picking up chairs and tables, because she realized she fucked up and she stayed without being a dick like us. Or without thinking about it. She probably thought about leaving, I don't know. In fact, she was so fast that I had not, that I had a tough time keeping up with her. Well, now aren't you suddenly acting all goody-goody? It's not like I want to spend the whole day here, you dork. She still sounded irritated. Listen, you've got to understand that you can't behave like that, at least not to such an extent. Are you your fucking father? For some reason, I decided to try to give her a moral lecture. I haven't done a thing. It was you who was calling me names. Then I grabbed a bucket and mop and went to the farthest corner of the canteen. Look, it looks like she's still angry. Looking back at the mountain of broken tableware, I began to understand the scope of the catastrophe. We're lucky at least the forks and spoons were made of metal, and we still have something to eat. But there's hardly any plates left. Hey. Well, and he called me with a shout. He went over to her. I don't get it. Why do you hate me so much? Oh god, this is gonna get weird. Her face became so serious that I was ready to believe that I, it wasn't just yet another trick of hers. Why do you think so? I have no idea that's exactly why I'm asking you. I don't hate you. It's just that sometimes you behave like... Well, you know. As simple as that, it's still true. Like what? I have no idea. She her gaze to me, boiling with curiosity. Well, for starters, what's the idea of pouring all the compot all over me? You were asking for it. She smiled for the first time since we started cleaning. Yeah, sure. I heaved a deep sigh. So, what do you expect from the others, then? Nothing. She replied acidly. Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing. The discussion was over, so I continued to clean up in silence. It took us a few hours to fix up the canteen. At least all the broken table was gone, chairs and tables were in the designated places. The floor looked clean. All while these students and the pioneers here were all cleaned. Or didn't help, you know, stuff. I'll shut up. We're still putting together with Lanya next to the food car uh, counter, breathing heavily. Oh, fuck. We were sitting together with Lanya. Wait, we were sitting together with Lanya. Isn't this Lanya? Next to the food counter, breathing heavily, deservedly rested. Excuse me. Now, now you see how much effort it has has to be put because of the silly trick. But I'm not tired at all. The sweat pouring down her face told the opposite story. How's how are you guys fucking hot? You cleaned up. Oh well, good for you. So, what are we gonna do next? I don't know about you, but I'd rather go. Nope, that's not all. You have to... She hesitated. Let me with one other little thing. Thinking of another silly prank? You bet. She was smiling broadly. I'm not your man here. I'm more fed up with just one punishment for today. Okay, here's the deal. If you help me now, there won't be any more pranks. Sure, that was the inviting prospect, but somehow I couldn't bring myself to trust Alana even for a moment. Well, 
So it wouldn't hurt to ask. So, what's your cunning plan? We're gonna steal the candy. What? I should have expected something like that. Candy is for kids. Hey, hey. I like candy. Candy is fucking cool. I like chocolate. I want some chocolate now. See what you made me do. Good job, man. Soon the chef will go out to dump the trash. Nobody's gonna see us. Count me out. Uh, whatever. She'd go out to turn away. And I'll do it myself. And I won't allow... I couldn't finish the sentence as Ulani already jumped over the counter and ran at the cabinet, opened the door, and started rummaging through it. Hey, cut that. It's not like you haven't gone through enough problems with OD. She didn't reply. I'll oh, just let her fucking do what she wants, dude. Just, just leave her alone. Won't get away with just cleaning or something like that. Ulania closed the cabinet. She held a huge bag of candy in her hands. Ah, oh, you little... Put it back. She stuck her tongue at me and dashed at the back door. I swear, if you fucking run after her. Oh, I just couldn't leave it at that. I darted off and Why? 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 Just leave her alone. Sure, the girl had quite a head start, but I still funneled all my energy into the chase. I won't lose her again. Why? Leave her alone. She wants the candy. Give her the fucking candy. Just leave her alone. She's like a child. I think. I don't know how old she is. She's probably like 30. We ran through the square. To like this music. Turned out the music club building. And came out the forest trail. I had almost caught Alani when she stopped abruptly. I couldn't pull as sharply, so I crashed into her sending us sprawling. We rolled down to the grass. Oh, this is gonna get. Go. Oh, yep. Uh, oh, this is gonna get go weird. Okay, gotcha. I gave a Victoria shout. No, you didn't. She replied with an ashamed tone. Lani was lying under me. Her face was right next to mine. I felt an erratic breathing and the heat of her body. Oh my god. She looks like she's 10, dog. How old are you, like 28? Sure, right now she's only a child, but soon enough she'll become a wo Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Jesus Christ. Okay. It was pretty embarrassing. Whoa. What the f This this took a this took a very very dark turn. I'm not even gonna say that, I don't know. I don't feel like saying that. She said, coming back to her senses. Do you want me to? Anyway, it was more like a game where... Sure do. Uh-oh, my god. Hey, look, it's sweetie, it's not rape if you want it. She gave a cunning smile and snorted quietly. Or was it just my imagination? I'm not really in the mood. Oh, aren't you a gentleman? Nah, no, whatever. Well, then I reached up a bit. Oh, bit me on the nose. I wasn't expecting that, and even pulled back a little. Just a moment of hesitation was enough for her to wrestle him out and run, a dozen, and run a dozen feet away. Watch it. You're gonna regret this later. You should have just left her alone. She laughed out loud and disappeared into the woods. Candy bag was left lying on the ground near me. I wonder if she dropped it on purpose. It's getting it's getting near dinner time, so I had to hurry up and. Fuck it, I read that, I don't care. Preferably, very preferably, stay under the radar. Of course, I'll explain the situation. It was Alana who stolen them. Oh, he wants to return the candy. Okay. But who's gonna believe me? Just leave the candy there, dog. Ogadi was already waiting for me at the entrance of the canteen. Good job, Semyon. And what? I had the bag of sweets behind my back. Put it in your ass. Put it in your ass! Okay. <laughs> the bag was transparent and too big to put in my pocket. I was talking about the clean up. Uh, everything is clean and tidy. Well, yeah. And where's Ulania? I wish I knew. She'll... She'll come soon. Okay, then. Uh, go on in every dinner. 
I entered the canteen, tenor and my lack of surprise was full. Now I really don't know how to return the bag without being noticed, so I could do it in the evening. But what do I do with it now? Semyon. I turned around and Slav... Slavia was in front of me. I keep thinking Yugoslavia for some reason when I hear her name. If, if you don't know what Yugoslavia is, Yugoslavia was a country. I, don't, I, I, I always think Yugoslavia when I hear her name. Okay. Um, wow. What's that? She looked at the bag and I didn't manage to hide in time. Caught red-handed, more like sweet-handed. Ha, ha. <laughs> don't ever make a pun again. Time to prepare for the scolding. These are... sweets? Where from? I stole them, damn it. You didn't steal them, the chick did it. Got them from Ulanya. Oh, I see. Same old song and dance. What do you mean? Is that the first time she's stolen sweets? <laughs> Fucking child. Okay. And why am I not surprised? <laughs> Let me handle this. Thanks. Slavia saves the day yet again. Shut the bag and headed to the buffet. I had no desire to listen to what she was going to say while she was turning the suite, so I started to look around the canteen, looking for a place to sit. It seems that I have to share dinner with the table with Electronic and Shurik. There were no more places to sit. <sighs> so what's happening, gentlemen? Every time I had to deal with them, I got an itching desire to tease them, or at least to drop some cheeky or cocky banter. I don't like how he looks. And I don't like how he looks. I don't like how they look. It's always in every, like, anime game or anything visual novel, there's a guy or a girl who has their hand behind their head. Ugh. God, you are a Hitler's wet dream. Okay. It might be too risky to behave that way, but, ele but Electronic Brothers were my primary source of positive emotions. And 21... 43, okay. I'll read a little bit more. Uh, how are you doing? Fine, what about you? It's Mrs. Something happened? Ah, lots of stuff. Do you mind sharing? Nah, some other time maybe. So yourself. You made a helpless gesture. I, I, I can feel a cough like at the edge of my throat, and it's like I'm, I'm suppressing it as much as I can. Okay. We're going to the ball after dinner. Electri electronic Chuck giggled. Probably thinks he's going to get some, like, poontang or something. I know that. Who would you want to ask out? Uh, haven't thought about it yet. Lena. 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 What about you? I, well, I, uh, seen that this question caught him off guard. Ask Alanya, that would make her happy. Uh, no, thanks. Electronic, electronic fiercely waved his hand. And you, Shirk? You can ask Alyssa out? Ah, thanks, I'll pass. He looked calmer than his mate. Come on, guys, it'd be fun. And in any case, we got things to do. We still have to finish the robot. Ah, you nerds, you can't, can't ask girls out because you got to build your robots. I understand. <laughs> oh, that's a marvelous idea. Ask your robot out. Can it dance? Can't even walk yet. I'm sure, I probably missed the point completely. <laughs> well, that would be a great demonstration of our achievements in front of the camp. Oh, no, 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 don't, no. Didn't know I wouldn't know. And what would we show to them? Mm, yeah, you're right. They both stared at the place disappointingly. Hmm. And the thing clears out. Dinner was over, and the pioneers started to disperse. Yeah, they're, they're all gone, buddy. What will you wear for the ball? I asked Shurik and Electronic. Uh, we don't have anything special to wear. We'll, we'll go as we are. Really? <laughs> really? I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, fuck, Renatux. <laughs> he indicated his pioneer uniform. They don't seem to care about their appearance at all. That's that's the way to live. Fuck. <laughs> I just like suits because suits are cool. I want to get a suit. Okay. Why should I care then? 
wearing my winter clothes isn't an option, so I'll just go like this. When does it start? Nah, after 9 o'clock. Got it. I left the canteen and deeply inhaled the fresh evening air. I remember those rare dances I used to go at school. You went to dances? I never went to my dances. They were never really my thing. Mm. Hesitation, insecurity, even fear. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't like, oh my god, I, I don't, I'm too insecure to go to dance. I was like, fuck that. Why would I pay m money to dance at a ball that's not even fun? <laughs> fuck that. Hesitation, insecurity, even fear. I couldn't dance. I didn't know how to react if someone had invited me. I wouldn't even dare invite someone myself. Oh, no. I felt pretty uncomfortable about it. And it was even more unpleasant to watch others having fun. It wasn't envy. More like disconcerting feeling that people were able to enjoy something so odd for me. <clears throat> uh, there was still lots of time till the ball so I could keep so I could sleep a little bit and be fresh in the evening. Okay. I'm gonna end it there. And before I end it here. I'm gonna stop the recording. So, oh fuck. Oh my god. Okay, so. That was whatever episode of Everlasting Summer. I actually kinda wanna know what happens after this, so I'm gonna record another episode right after this one and place another episode up. You know, just shit like that. So, thank you guys for joining me. And that's basically it. Like and subscribe, you know, blah 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 blah. I'm sorry if you didn't like my horse voice, but I kinda owe it to the people who did watch this, which I'm pretty sure is like one person <sighs> for for a long long time and I, I'm really I'm really sorry I fucked up so yeah that's it and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next one